Hi guys, welcome to your mm, technically third, but basically your first beginner's Java tutorial. And in this tutorial, I'm going to be explaining you a bit about NetBeans and also just explain in general how Java works. Um, so hopefully you've downloaded NetBeans already. And in the NetBeans IDE, click on this button here uh, to open a new project, or you can press uh, File New Project. And with the dialog box that comes up, you're going to want to find Categories Java and then choose Java Application and then just hit Next and in this dialog that pops up um, choose a name for your project, I'm going to call it Java um, Java Test and if you move down a bit uh, you can see this box Create Main Class, make sure that is ticked and make sure Set as Main Project is ticked as well uh, then you can just hit you can just hit Finish and it's going to create the new project and it's going to open your project up here. Now as you can see you've got your um, project manager over here. Uh, this symbol here with the coffee cup is your main project. Then you have your source packages uh, which contains all things that's all files that make up your Java program and then you have your packages uh, and you can imagine packages like folders they organize your Java program and within this Java test package we have our Java test.java, which is open here in the text editor. Now, as you can see, it's uh, generated the template for us. Uh, we can just control A, select all, and then delete that. And I'm going to be explaining to you now a bit about how Java works. Now, in Java, Java, in Java, you will you work with classes. Now, you can imagine a class as a any kind of object or thing you can think of. So, um, so if you had a class for a, say, a person, um, you'd have a p a person class, and within that class, you'd have methods for the person. Now, what methods are is that they, you code methods yourself, um, to tell the person to do something. So, in your person class, if we imagine we have a class called person, um, your person would then have methods such as uh, walk and um, go to work or school and say eat and sleep and you could go on um, then you could have say a, an animal class like a dog and the dog would have in its class say wagtail um, sleep eat walk and so on so uh, just to explain again, uh, in Java, Java is made up of classes, and classes are, you can imagine a class as an object, and within that class you have methods to tell the class what to do, such as these examples we have here. Um, so now I'm going to be showing you how to create your first class in Java. Uh, so we're just going to leave one line free at the top, and <clears throat> to start out we're going to write public class and then the name of the class must be the same as the file name so in this case java test now um, in java uh, I should point out that everything is case sensitive um, so if I put a capital C on this class uh, it would become invalid but as you can see in NetBeans uh, keyword, java keywords are highlighted in blue and other different colors depending on what they are uh, so after public class Java test, we're going to open the class declaration by doing a spiky bracket, um, which is you hold shift and the button with the square bracket, uh, it's to the right of the P on your keyboard. And then in NetBeans, if you just hit enter, it automatically closes the bracket. So now everything in your class will be enclosed between these two brackets here. If you write stuff outside the class, um, it's not going to recognize it. So make sure you're always typing within these bounds here. So just to quickly recap, we've created a public we created a public class. Uh, what public means is that it's available uh, to any other files that want to use it. Um, the the opposite of public is private, um, and we can't use it in this instance. Uh, but it get it will be useful in some instances. Uh, which we will discuss at a later date. But now I'm going to show you how to start methods. Now, with a method, uh, there's three main. Uh, there's 
three main things you have to do when you write a method. First, um, you need the publicity of the method, so either public, or let me write it like this, publicity, and then you have the return type, return type, and in Java, when you're writing methods, you usually use, um, you start with a lowercase letter, and instead of using a space, um, which is invalid syntax for Java, you simply start the next word, um, all as one except give it a capital letter. This is called uh, camel font. Um, don't ask me why, but that's what it's called. Uh, so when writing a method, you have the publicity, then you have the return type, and then you have the name of the uh, method. Uh, we'll call it method. And then you... Uh, Open and close a bracket. Will it be? Ex I'll be explaining these. What these brackets mean later on. Um, but then, to s now that you've declared your method, you need to do the same as you did with the class with the spiky brackets. So you open the spiky bracket, hit enter, and it automatically generates another one. So inside our class, which is enclosed in these two brackets here, we have we make our methods, which are then enclosed in their own thing, and in here we have code to tell the method what to do. Now let me show you an example of a method because this uh, is invalid as you can see by the red underlining. So if you remember, um, that brings me on to another point in Java. In Java it's sometimes necessary to explain uh, what you're doing uh, for your own future reference and to others who may be looking at your code. And to do this uh, you create a comment and it's very easy to make a comment. You either do two forward slashes and as you can see, the color turns from black to gray, and then you can type your comment here. Um, and <clears throat> this comment will not affect the code whatsoever. That The comment will be completely ignored. It's purely for you, for your own future reference, and for others looking at your code. And there's also another way to create a comment, and that's by doing a forward slash and a star, and then another star and a forward slash to close it. Um, this method with the two forward slashes is usually done for single line comments and comments with the stars are done if you're writing a large paragraph of comments like this and this is generally what it would look like um, yeah that's just a bit about comments uh, so now we're going to write our first method so I'm going to remove this so you can still see. First we need to type our publicity. Actually, I'm going to comment this out so it doesn't take note of it as the code uh, by using the forward slash star and forward slash star. Uh, also in NetBeans there's an easier way to comment things out, large blocks of code, very quickly. Um, you can highlight the code and then click this button here, which is the kind of paragraph with the two green forward slashes, and that comments that region out. Now we're going to create our first method. So publicity, we need to either select public or private. A public method is allowed to be used outside of this class. A private method can only be used inside this class. So we're going to make a public method. Next we need a return type. And now a return type is the variable that you want uh, your method to return. So it could be an integer. Uh, we'll go into variables later, actually. Uh, for now, we're just going to write void. And what void means is is that it means the method can run and it doesn't need to return a value. So we have our publicity, and which is public. We have our return type, which is void, which means nothing is being returned. And then we're going to write our method name, and I'm going to call it method. Then we have our two empty brackets, which I will explain later. Then we open our spiky bracket, and then hit enter to generate it. And then our code goes in here. Uh, that That's it for this tutorial. Uh, I just wanted to explain a bit about how Java works and uh, how you create classes and methods. Um, you can't really do anything with this at the moment, but in the next tutorial I'm going to be explaining uh, how to write your first method and how to display something on the screen. Uh, so thanks for watching. Uh, please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next tutorial.